Hello everyone, I am doing chapter 21, section 8. It's over the processes of, well, it's over the C4 pathway, photorespiration, and uh, crustacean acid metabolism. So this is the first enzyme in the pathway here. It catalyzes the reaction between rebulose bisphosphate and diatomic oxygen to produce 3-phosphoglycerate and phosphoglycolate. Phosphoglycolate in the chloroplast reacts with inorganic phosphate to produce glycolate. Glycolate is then transported into the peroxisome, where it reacts uh, with diatomic oxygen through the action of glycolate oxygenase, and that forms hydrogen peroxide as well as glyoxalate. Glyoxalate is then transaminated to form glycine. Two glycines from photorespiration are then transported over to the mitochondria. They react to form serine and carbon dioxide. Serine is then transported back over to the peroxisome. It reacts with glyoxalate to produce hydroxypyruvate. Hydroxypyruvate is reduced by NADH. And that forms glycerate. Glycerate in the chloroplast is then phosphorylated by ATP. And that regenerates our original starting product, or our original product, rather, 3-phosphoglycerate. So the C4, th C4 pathway is kind of a bypass for photorespiration. Uh, first thing happens is that CO2 is taken up by the mesophyll cell. That's at the top there. It's reacted with phosphoenol pyruvate. That produces oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate is then reduced by NADPH to produce malate. Malate is then oxidized by NADP plus to, pr to produce phosphonopyruvate and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is just in the Calvin cycle. Pyruvate is then used to regenerate phosphonopyruvate. So this is an example of a plant that's a cactus that uses crustacean acid metabolism. Basically what crustacean acid metabolism invo involves is the stomata closing in the daytime to limit water loss through evaporation, then opening at night in order to intake CO2. The CO2 goes through the, it's, it reacts with phosphoenopyruvate and then goes through the same half series of reactions we just saw to form malate. Malate is then stored in the plant cell vacuoles. Stored until the morning, it's released in the morning and decarboxylated to form CO2. That CO2 is then thrust in the Calvin cycle to produce organic compounds for the plant. So that's a, uh, that's a rundown of the processes of the C4 pathway, phosphorespiration, and crustacean acid metabolism. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.